Hi, today we're going to give you an update on ScienceLogic's automation engine for AI ops. But before we get started, I want to just recap and make sure everyone's working off the same page. Foundationally, ScienceLogic is built on the premise that you can collect data from virtually any technology, any vendor, anywhere. Cloud, network, infrastructure, applications, and more. We use a variety of techniques to put the data into a data lake, and then we add context to that. That allows us to drive AI-assisted automations, things like assessing service impact, uh, driving uh, enrichment of incidents and automation of the CMDB, synchronization, as well as remediation, self-healing, and more. So today, we're going to talk about business service impact. And to help me with that, I've invited John Wilsey, our senior oh. solutions architect. John, welcome. Thank you, Leslie. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what we're going to talk about today, John? Prior to customers, Finding Science Logic, they had a lot of challenges trying to understand how different infrastructure or application issues were actually impacting their business. Okay, okay, yeah, that's a common challenge we hear about all the time. So, um, can you tell us a little bit more about how we can help? Absolutely. So, we're able to map any sort of infrastructure or application key performance indicator mm -hmm. and we're able to communicate that to the business in three simple terms. Those mean health, availability, and risk of a given business service. Okay, all right. Well, what, is, what does that look like in, in our product? Yes, yeah, so what we have here is a dashboard where we can see that the overall IT services being delivered to the business uh, are represented in the availability here, health, and risk. And further, we can see that the different lines of business, how they're running, and we can see there's actually an issue with the HR and the finance lines of business. Okay, that's great, that's great. So um, can you talk a little bit more about how we can see uh, the details behind the fact that the HR and, and uh, finance are experiencing a problem. Yep. So what we do is we bring data from all different sources. We can bring performance data, log data, application data, even cloud service data. We bring all that information into our data lake mm -hmm. and then we go ahead and we apply context so we understand how everything is related to everything else. So here what we have is a view that an operator might be looking at to go ahead and work on solving the problems and understanding how everything's tied together. Okay. So what we have here is we have the business service that has some problems if the HR and finances, you can see they're, they're orange instead of green. Right? Green, is, green means everything's good. And then ultimately we come down and we can see that each of these different services have different infrastructure underneath them. And this map is actually showing the operator that there's actually some shared VMware infrastructure. And in this case, the VMware infrastructure has some storage issues that the storage isn't performing correctly, and the operator is able to tell that this common piece of shared infrastructure is actually impacting the systems that are driving the applications for both lines of businesses. So what we're actually seeing is that a common set of infrastructure could be a affecting multiple applications or m multiple business services, and, and we're able to do that because we're providing that context around uh, the information Absolutely. we've collected. Yep. That's great. So with this information, um, I would think that this would help customers not only understand impact, but root cause, yes, correct? Yes, exactly. So the dashboards represent the view for the business to understand, do I have a problem? If so, how bad is the problem? Where is that problem coming from? Okay. And for the folks on the IT side, they're able to use this information to quickly get to the root cause that is impacting the business. Okay, all right, great. Well, thank you very much, John. This was very informative. And uh, you know, if, if uh, folks want to learn more, where can they go to get information? Go to sciencelogic.com. All right, great. Thank you. Thank you.